why we don't feel like broadcasting with YouTube or putting as much stuff effort into YouTube because we put a lot of energy into it. We follow about their policies. We do everything that they ask us to do. But then they don't hold up their end of the policies. And there's no penalty for them. And there's no reward for us. Except for providing a ton of really good content for you, which is what we like to do. So at the end of the day, for you guys that are subscribing, thank you for subscribing. Do you remember the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the vegan challenge we did back in June 2019? Right. 30 days we went on an all-vegan diet. And what happened was, because everyone, you know, the Whopper came out, everyone was saying, vegan's healthy, vegan's healthy. I'm seeing all these people telling me about how they lose weight on, on eating nothing but vegan food. And I, I'm a biologist. And what I know is this. <laughs> Humans cannot consume a vegan diet that is designed not for us. <laughs> uh, we had an argument. And so what we did instead was I just ate a vegan diet for 30 days back in June. And then I spent the last nine months or six months trying to get back to where I was. No kidding. 30 days of eating a straight sugar diet is going to make you fat AF. So why do I bring up this up today and why do I merge all this? Because I'm on Twitter yesterday and I'm, or a couple days ago, and I'm, you know, cruising along. Tweet and I see someone say, hey, everyone, I lost 100 pounds. I'm like, oh, okay, this is my topic. I like to hear this because you guys know I lost about 125 pounds. 100 pounds? I'm like, what? <laughs> and, uh, I, sorry, I, I was thinking about something else. Uh, 100 pounds is a lot of weight for a person to lose. That person, and this person I could tell was a female by their name. It was Kendra. That's all I knew. And they had some picture of, of a person. I couldn't. I don't really look at the profile pics because I don't care. So Kendra says she lost 100 pounds. Now, for a female to lose 100 pounds, and I lost 125, but for a female to lose 100 pounds, that is significant. That is a lot of weight. And I was like, wow, that is impressive. But then she goes on to say, but what I noticed was, it, well, first she said, it sounded real positive. Like, you know, immediately people started treating me differently. They started complimenting me. They said I was more powerful and engaging. People listened to me more. They were drawn and attracted to me. And she said, uh, what did she say? And she said, I think it's just sick that society is only nice to thin people. And they're mean to fat people. I don't understand why that is. And so I said, well, hey, listen, Kendra, congrats on your 100-pound loss. I went through the same thing. Now, what your perspective is off. You're viewing it that, that they're very fickle and they only like you because you're pretty. Maybe some of them. But majority, the mass amount of people are drawn to healthy-looking people. Right? If you see someone who's dirty, who uses a lot of drugs, who, you know, who uh, smells, doesn't do their hair, you know, all this other stuff, that or basically does not look sick, doesn't look healthy, right? Fat, not healthy, right? Then you think that person is not healthy. So you're, you're naturally not drawn to them until you get to know them. You're like, okay, you know, despite their unhealthiness, I like them. Okay. Now. That's what that I said. So what I was saying was in a you know tweet I said, look, they weren't saying they're, they're they're not fickle. They're not like, hey, we only like the pretty people. No, in this case, they noticed you were fat before, obese, dangerously obese, and you lost a hundred pounds the next time they saw you. Like Jesus, you look fucking great. And then people you didn't know were drawn to you and attracted to you. Why? Because you did something that other people couldn't do. That is, control what you put in your own mouth. Right? Because that's all it is. If you, want, if you want to look like this, I don't go to the gym. I don't even diet. I eat a lot of food. I just eat the right foods. And I control what I put in my mouth. If I get tempted to eat a lot of sweets or, or fruit or vegan food like a smoothie or something, well, I get fat. So by the choices I make, I can control how fat I am simply by changing my diet. So now what's the problem with the vegan diet? The vegan diet is pure sugar. You eat that smoothie, the problem with sugar is sugar is addictive and it makes you want more sugar. So you'll be craving more food as soon as you're done with that smoothie in about 20 minutes. 
and you'll want sugar too. You won't want a steak. So there's two things that happen when you can go into a vegan diet is that you get too much sugar, which makes you addicted. Now, the sugar has another component. It also has the ability to control your cravings. Kind of like body snatchers. It makes you think you want, you're hungry when you're not. And when you're full, it doesn't tell you you're full. It, it kills those receptors. Why? I don't know. But it's evident because you can see it. People who eat sugar get fat. And it's not just the calories in, calorie out. It's a psychological component. They can't stop eating. So, what do you do? Well, first, first, you know, what, what is the first rule of Fight Club? No, wait. Step one of Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> Don't talk about it. No. But <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get my numbers here. The, wait, the step one to, to solving an addiction is admitting that you have an addiction. Because you can't solve something you don't admit you have a problem. That's called denial. Or, in layman's turn, shoving your head up your own ass. So, Kendra then responds to me, along with about 250,000 other people. I'm not kidding. I got a quarter of a million impressions on this tweet. Telling me that being fat is natural for some people. And who am I to say to a black woman, black, okay, who, who's a, this is what they said, who's a white man telling a black woman her perspective's off? I said, okay, hold on, Smokes. Put your guns down for a minute. I'm not the enemy here. I thought she had lost weight and she was bitter that people were so fickle. I felt like that. We all have. It's like that uh, movie, Can't Buy Me Love. You know, the girl you always wanted, she didn't talk to you until you became popular and good looking. And then she's nice as pie. And then you're kind of like, well, I'm not even sure I like you now because that's kind of lame. You didn't like me before. That's what she was describing all of society like. No, we are human beings. Humans are drawn to attractive people. Not because they're pretty, but because they're healthy. And when I say attractive, that doesn't mean thin. That doesn't mean fat. It doesn't mean muscular. It means attractive. What draws people to people is nature, biology. Now, if you want to attract a human, the best way to attract a human is to do what? To look like a human. If you eat sugar, dairy, or other things that would never really be available to humans, you know, those things weren't really available. Those were designed, I don't even know, they invented those later. Look, look, look back in the 1900s. Before 1950, and they invented the, the soda shop and all the candy bars and all the processed foods and all the frozen foods you're eating and all that stuff. Before then, think about it. The issue was malnourishment. They were trying to get their kids fatter. But today, the issue is what? Our kids are obese, dangerously obese, right? They're not very active. They st Hopefully some of you have noticed your kids stay at home a lot and just sit there and eat while they sit. And they don't eat steaks, do they? They eat chips, which is carbohydrates with salt. Carbohydrates are one step away from sugar. So they're eating a bag of sugar. Anyways, that's why they're getting fat. So, but they weren't arguing that. What they were trying to tell me was that fat was healthy. I'm here to tell you 100% being overweight is not healthy. And then their, their, their reasoning, their logic was, well, when I was bulimic, when I was on drugs, I was a 98 pounds, and you're telling me that's, I was like, look, overweight's not healthy, underweight's not healthy, healthy's healthy. So, this is the nine-month check-in. I've been on a diet, and here's what I eat. Organic beef, organic greens, and organic garlic, when available. You might not know this, but there's a garlic shortage right now. <laughs> we know it because it's one of the key components in our meal. We also have some organic spices, and, and that's about it. It's a very simple meal. She's, okay, we can also have other things like maybe a little, she's getting some organic ahi tuna today because she happened to be out at a store that had that, but that's way across town, and she was just out that way, so it's like, hey, that's a one-time treat, and that's, ahi tuna is excellent, but it is high 
high high calories. So you do have to kind of watch yourself a little bit. But again, it's easy when you're not addicted to sugar. And sugar addiction is just that food addiction. So everyone with an eating disorder, everyone who's struggling with their weight, anybody who, unless your goal, right? Okay, here we go. Unless your goal is to continue to not fit in your clothes, to feel tired and sluggish and be fat, if that's, your, if that's what you want to do, then you're a person who doesn't care about health, right? Or you don't know what you're doing. Or you can't control yourself. Because nobody wants to be fat. If I gave you the choice, anybody listening here, anybody listening, who wants to be fat? Who wants to be fatter than you are now? If you could gain 20 pounds right here in your midsection, who would do that? How about in your butt? 20 pounds in your butt. Who's going to raise your hand? I want to be fatter in my butt and my belly. I want to be overweight. I'm normal weight now, but I'm not talking about the people that are malnourished. I mean, I know you can find some starving people that would say yes. I'm talking about a healthy person that goes to work every day, has a couple kids, comes home, has dinner. You know, does that person want to gain more weight or lose more weight? Right. Okay. So, why do they want to lose weight? Because it feels better. So that's another component of losing weight. It's a psychological thing. It feels good when you look good. Does it not, people? When you put on your pair of clothes and it fits right and it, it nails it, doesn't that feel great? But when you go to put on those pair, pair of pants or that dress and suddenly, you, you know, the button's about to snap. And you're like, oh man, I'm going to have to leave the top button when I, open when I sit down at dinner tonight. That's not comfortable. That doesn't, it doesn't make you want to party and have a good time. Okay, so what do you do? Do you just listen to what they're telling you? To give up? It's not your fault. You're born fat. Some people were just born like me. And, other, and the other 99.9% .9 of the people were born to be fat at age 52. Is that what you want to believe? Then go do that. But you only have how many more years left to live on this planet? So, I'm here to tell you what, why people don't follow the Jedi. And why people hate us on, on Twitter. And why people hate us on YouTube. Because we tell them the truth. They want you to believe that being fat is healthy. They want you to accept that their inability to control putting in their mouth is not their fault. And they should be allowed to do that. And you can't even say anything. You can't even say they're overweight. You can't even compliment them when they lose weight. Because that's implying that you didn't like them when they're fat. No, we don't like you when you're fat because it's unhealthy. Heart disease is the number one killer, way above COVID. So the same people that are telling you to stay home are the fat people who don't want to go outside anyways. And when I say fat, I mean someone who is overweight. That's not at the weight that they want to be. Or, this, or this wearing the same clothes that they were wearing when they were 25. Or college or high school, whatever. Whenever you turn to an adult and you're at your optimal weight. And at some point you lost it and they told you that's just the way it is. It isn't. Very simple, I'm gonna tell you what to do. And don't do. So, if you made it this long, here's the secret. Ah, shit. You know, I mean, I got only like about an hour to do these things, which, hey, I'm in the middle of a blog right now, what's up? I can't look. I'm doing. I'm doing a blog right now. Oh, they have some radio stuff at the Smiths. I want you to look. Uh, well, uh, well, okay. Well, uh, I'm on. I'm. I'm in the middle of a blog. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'll look. I'll look when I'm done. Not to death, I'm not impressed, I'm not amused, I'm not confused, I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business, I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm my jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the market, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. I'm more time than a role or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out.